Hi guys, welcome to day 14 of our Vlogmas. So today actually is going to be a bit more of a Vlogmas type video because I have not been able to paint. I haven't had a chance to sit down and paint yet. So we started our 12 days of Christmas today and I have had some questions about it. So I thought I would run through that quickly. So these are for my mum. We're doing the 12 skeins of Christmas for her. So we're giving her some wool or some art yarn each day and she has been wanting to knit a blanket for some time but um, you know it's always hard to collect the yarn so I thought this would be a really good opportunity and so I've collected yarns in a whole bunch of different lavenders, um, fuchsias and some deeper purple amethyst type colors and all the colors I think she would like and will also match with wools that she already has. So I did get skeins from a few different shops and my two favorites or if you've never used sort of if you, wool before. So this one here is one that was a new shop to me and it smells very much like wool freshly off the sheep. So if you are not used to that, that's probably not where you want to start. This is a really good shop, Autumn Rose. It's um, really clean, beautiful wool that smells really nice. And she does really soft, pretty colors as well. And then also Robin Bird's Nest, I believe that is, or Robin's Bird, I think it's Robin Bird's Nest. And she does really gorgeous wool that's also very clean. So if you want, you know, clean, fresh wool, those are the two shops I recommend. I also really love the Banta Yarn shops, which this one came from because of her beautiful colors. So you may some of these wools you may need to wash before you knit with um, so if you're okay with a little bit more work that's fine they're still really beautiful yarns so i also got my sister this one it's from the shop my mother's daughter and this is also a gorgeous wool so uh, she spins wools with sequins and things in them this is this was just a half skein i think from what's in her shop at the minute so you can probably ask her about that if you're interested and then uh, I also got her some makeup palettes as well, so um, to match with her 12 days. But the yarn idea actually comes from last Christmas. I was really enjoying watching everyone get their little sock advent calendars. And so I thought it'd be nice to do like a 12 days one for my mum. And then I wanted to give my sister some as well. And I don't know if she'll knit with it or maybe just cut off pieces or just put it in her room somewhere, you know, um, just hang it over her mirror or something like that. Like more for inspiration and decoration. And then we also got her this little gouache set because she's been really into gouache at the minute. So um, I think she'll really enjoy this. But one of the reasons I wanted to do this video as well was just to show you the variety of things that are available as Christmas gifts or stocking fillers. So for the boys, we got my dad an advent calendar and then we got um, both the boys some beard oil for one of the days and um, they really enjoy it at Christmas just getting a few extra like Everyman Jack or this Badger is a new um, brand to us but they have some really nice products and so just a couple of things like that with some little Christmas cookies and so I guess this year we're doing the knock and runs um, just in the house and then so these are some of my 12 days so this is a little gold um, a piece of gold for the metal point or silver point that we will look at a little bit more next year so um, we've talked a little bit about that in the ethograph but I got the piece of gold there as well and then a couple of these are new so I've been collecting the RNF pigment uh, sticks my sister actually started collecting them. We went to a little art store in um, New York and she started collecting them there. And so I've gotten a few over the years, but I've added a few to the collection and I will swatch those out for you. I also saw the sommelier ones over on Eliana's channel. And so I grabbed a couple of those as well. So I think that is about it. I'm still trying to get back on track and paint. I've just been just exhausted and we still have to trim the poor tree. So um, 
we actually had to cut a little bit off the bottom so that it could fit and then there was this whole gaping hole at the back of it where the branches had sort of grown up to fill that hole the bottom branches so we are trying to rectify that and um, hopefully organize the tree tomorrow we're actually ahead of schedule for our family with the tree so woo. so that is pretty much everything for um, today I hope you enjoyed this and got a few ideas and um, oh, the other thing is we, tonight we went to home goods to get some wrapping paper to make a sort of a skirt for the bottom of the tree and I saw this little tray and I thought this would be really good as a mixing tray so I didn't actually get it I think I have a longer one of these in my boxes somewhere so but I really love looking at in the cooking section you can see here like this mirrored um tray and i think that would be beautiful with you know inks or for some like art storage you can see here i'm always looking for art storage in the cooking section i really loved the look of this advent calendar as well we did we didn't get it but i just really thought it was cute and then uh we got this charles dickens puzzle for one of my brothers so that is everything for today guys i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you tomorrow hopefully with some painting bye